Mr. Spock. Oh my goodness! Did you know that some scenes from SpongeBob SquarePants have been banned or deleted in certain countries around the world for being considered inappropriate or even violent? There are probably more people in the world who know about Bikini Bottom than any actual city in the world. However, not all scenes from SpongeBob are shown in every country. For example, in Iran, the episode Welcome to the Bikini Bottom Triangle, Season 7, Episode 140, was modified to fit the country's customs. In this episode, we discover that Patrick has a strong attraction to mermaids who wear bikinis in the original version of the show. But in the Iranian version, additional layers of clothing were added, as women are required to cover most of their bodies when outside their homes. This is just one of the 12 scenes that were modified in other countries, which we've compiled to show you. Number 2. Peanuts in the episode Chocolate with Nuts from the third season, we see SpongeBob and Patrick selling chocolates door to door. It's that famous episode where their first customer suddenly appears out of nowhere and starts chasing after them. Chocolate! 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 However, the problem is that Patrick and SpongeBob were selling versions with and without nuts. And you might be wondering, so what's the big deal? Well, in some countries like the United Kingdom, the scenes where they say with or without nuts were simply cut. Because in those countries, the term nuts has a double meaning. It refers to a male intimate part. Number three, burger in the pants. The episode Just One Bite, season three, episode 43, is that famous episode where SpongeBob tries to make Squidward taste the Krabby Patty. By the way, there's a scene from that episode that was cut which we talked about in another video about deleted scenes from SpongeBob in other countries. But that wasn't the only one. In some countries like Germany, the scene where SpongeBob insists inside the bathroom near the toilet for Squidward to taste the burger was cut because it was considered inappropriate for children due to sanitary regulations. And let's admit it, that's really gross. <laughs> Number four, no smoking. A certain part of the episode, The Smoking Peanut, season two, episode 12B, was deemed inappropriate in some countries like Canada. The scene in question is where SpongeBob smokes, in quotation marks, soap bubbles, and then breathes a sigh of relief, making a clear reference to smoking, as if blowing bubbles would alleviate tension. For this reason, the episode was edited, removing the scenes that alluded to smoking, to avoid giving children the impression that smoking can be something positive. Number five, no kissing. In the case of the episode Krusty Love, season two, episode 16, the scene that needed to be removed was of a different nature. In the episode, Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff go on a date, and at the end of the episode, Mrs. Puff thanks Mr. Krabs and gives him a kiss on the eye, which would be something like a cheek kiss. But in some Middle Eastern countries like Saudi Arabia, the scene was removed due to cultural restrictions. Too much intimacy in public is not appreciated in these places. Number six, loser. Even in the first episode of SpongeBob, there was a scene that was cut for a rather unusual reason. The first time we see SpongeBob, he goes to the Krusty Krab to apply for the job of fry cook. When he gets there, Squidward is cleaning some sort of graffiti off the restaurant's windows. And what was there was a kind of mockery of Squidward himself with a drawing of him and the word loser. In some Asian countries like South Korea, this scene was altered, replacing the word with a censored and blurred image. These countries didn't want to convey the idea that graffiti or such things are normal or appropriate. Everyone knows that SpongeBob's most iconic phrase is... I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So if you're ready for the next scenes, we're gonna show you. Comment hashtag ready down below. Let's go. Number seven, Secret Society. Continuing our list, we have the episode Cephalopod Lodge from the sixth season, which had a significant portion censored, even though the purpose of the episode was to show Patrick and SpongeBob trying to help Squidward get accepted back into the Cephalopod Lodge, of which he was a member. The reason for the change is because it contains clear representations of some rather unusual medieval rituals. This is also a clear reference to secret societies that many people claim to exist and that some consider as cults or sects. But contrary to what you might be thinking, it wasn't banned in religious countries in the West, but rather in China. Some scenes were altered to avoid sensitive religious issues as perceived by the Chinese government. Number eight, dangerous games. Now let's talk about the episode pre-hibernation week where Sandy has only seven days before her hibernation period. That's why she takes SpongeBob to engage in various dangerous activities to make the most of their last moments before hibernation. Maybe you don't understand, but these are really dangerous things, like skiing at high speed on sand, fishing while in an airplane, and looking for a straw in a haystack. <laughs> and it was exactly one of these pranks that was edited in some countries, like Japan. 
It's the scene where SpongeBob and Sandy play a dangerous game of hooky, and then a bowling ball falls on SpongeBob's head. But since he's a sponge, he doesn't feel much pain. Isn't this great? Yeah! Since kids aren't sponges that don't feel pain, the scene was edited in Japan to minimize the perceived risk and ensure the safety of children. Number 9. No muscles allowed. Now, this next prohibition was for a much less dangerous reason and even quite strange. In the episode Larry's Gym from the ninth season, we see that Larry has opened a gym in Bikini Bottom. And of course, SpongeBob is one of his least promising students, since he doesn't even have the weight to open the automatic door. But Larry makes Bob his personal project for success, only after he signs up for a lifetime membership with monthly fees. <laughs> but after several exercises and intense training routines, SpongeBob starts to become really muscular. And that's exactly exactly what people in France didn't like, so the scene was modified to avoid the association with body stereotypes. I have to say, this one was quite bizarre, since that's what you do in a gym. Laugh on your back! Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs> but what can you do, right? Number 10. Against Segregation Everyone knows that Spongebob loves being neighbors with Squidward. But Squidward, on the other hand, hates it. So in the episode, Squidville, when he has the chance to move to a place called Tentacle Acres, where happiness is just a suction cup away, he simply leaves. He doesn't think twice and abandons Patrick and SpongeBob. However, when he's in his new home, he receives a call from SpongeBob who misses him, and he says a phrase that didn't sit well in some countries and had to be removed. Squidward said that he would never, under any circumstances, go back there because now he was with his own kind. This scene had to be modified and even removed in Mexico and South Korea due to concerns about the representation of segregated communities or any possible negative and racist interpretation. Number 11. Disguising as a woman. In the seventh season, in the episode Love That Squid, we have the episode where we finally see Squidward going on a date with a girl thanks to SpongeBob. And in this episode, to help Squidward practice before his date, SpongeBob dresses up as a woman to simulate date situations and help Squidward gain more confidence. But that's exactly why the scene was considered inappropriate by authorities in some countries, as it showed the main character of the show dressed in woman's clothing. As a result, it was modified or even banned in Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Malaysia. Number 12. Violence Well, folks, there have even been scenes in SpongeBob that were cut to avoid promoting violence. Believe it or not, this happened in the 10th episode of the third season called Krusty Krab Training Video. The scene considered violent in some countries occurs when a boy is hit by a brick right on the head because he was interrupting the filming of the Krusty Krab promotional video. This scene was edited or removed due to violence in Germany, Australia, and Canada. But honestly, this one is understandable. Never throw a brick at your friend's head. These were the 12 scenes and segments of SpongeBob that were banned or modified in other countries. Comment below which one you found the heaviest or lightest. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Until next time, bye-bye.